even in the first week of INS, my, one of the girls really triggered me when she said I was too slow. Um, and it made me realize that all my life, I've been trying to keep up with my busy country and my busy life and my busy environment. And I always wanted to fix things myself. And I'm just so tired of fixing things myself. And I came to a point where I asked God, why haven't you fixed me yet? And God said to embrace my weakness. And that's really what Father Hart teaches as well. And it, it, it really shifted my perspective that I don't have to fix myself. And I don't have to fit in with the busyness. And God came to give us peace. And the peace that surpasses understanding. So I really have been receiving more of that here in the INS. I think when God comes, sometimes it's not in a dramatic experience. I've always been very exposed to the prophetic and I've received grand prophetic um, words and visions, but God has been speaking to me in the still moments here. And it hasn't even been in the big moments, but in the very, very small everyday moments, whether it's in the dolphins, playfully playing in the bay or the freedom swims in the cold water that an Asian person like me wouldn't do or whether it is just in small conversations with people that carry so much of God's love or even the little moments every morning by myself and that's what and where God has met me here in INS. I think honestly to sum up my journey in INS like God showed me that I had really been in a place of lostness even if I wasn't aware of it. And it was to come to a place of longing, longing for Him. And it's so He could bring me to a belonging in Him. And I don't think I'm there at the belonging yet. Even after INS, I have gone through and I have an awareness of the lostness and the longing. And I have the faith that He will bring me through the belonging. And it's not my effort. He will do it in His time, in His way. And I can just be with Him. And that's what matters. As I watch a lot of the Orama and the INS, even just students and normal people go about their day-to-day -day lives and interact with their daughters or their sons, I feel like that's a picture of what God is to me, that he actually is a father that's very engaged, that's always watching, even when you don't feel like he's there, and he can play with you, he can protect you, he can provide for you, but he's actually present. He's actually engaged more than we know.